Cambridge is a beautiful city with lots to offer, be it in Cambridge, UK or Cambridge, USA. Cambridge name is uh, connected with excellent higher education. This is Nune and Boston area homes and in this video I'm going to talk about Cambridge, Massachusetts, the suburb of Boston. In this channel I talk about Boston suburbs, Boston and real estate, so it's if it's something that interests you, consider subscribing. Cambridge is home to a variety of respected institutions such as Harvard University and Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Cambridge is also home to other amazing colleges such as Lesley University or Longe School of Music. The strong student population of about 42,000 full-time students in the city gives it a lively, young feel and there are always things to do and the city remains active late at night. In terms of high schools, Cambridge offers great options as well. Cambridge Ringe and Latin School is ranked 131st by US News. Cambridge Public Schools get an A from niche.com as well. There are so many options for getting around Cambridge, whether you would like to take the subway, commuter rail, shuttles, bike shares, and buses, many options you have. In fact, many Cambridge residents do not own a car, they use public transportation instead, it's much cheaper and easier. If you're looking to travel outside of the city to somewhere like downtown Boston, it is only a subway right away. Fresh Pond neighborhood in Cambridge has access to Elevive subway station. Harvard Square is where the Harvard station is. There are stops in Central, Porter and Kendall squares all on the red line. Cambridge offers a variety of cuisines and amazing restaurants. No matter what cuisine you're interested in, Cambridge offers phenomenal options for eating out. Whether you're interested in a hip Japanese Spanish spot like Pagu or want to try a place with unique seafood dishes like Waypoint or Italian dishes like Toscano, there truly is something for everyone. According to niche.com, many of the top neighborhoods in Massachusetts are located in Cambridge. Most notable ones include Port, Mid-Cambridge and Cambridgeport. All have excellent ratings by residents and access to top public schools. Cambridge values its residents' health and wants everyone to be physically active. That's why they closed Memorial Drive from Western Avenue to Gary's Landing on weekends. It is open to pedestrians and cyclists from mid-April to mid-December every Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. You will never feel bored in Cambridge as there are always things to do. If you are an outdoorsy person, Cambridge is home to over 80 parks and open spaces. If art and indoor activities are more your thing, check out the Harvard Arts Museum or Harvard Museum of Natural History. In general, Cambridge is very much a walking city. Most things are within walking distance. Head of the Charles Regatta is another amazing sporting event that takes place in Cambridge on the Charles River and attracts many athletes from around the world. Watch my video about the regatta, the link is in the description. If you're looking to work in biotech or technology fields, the city of Cambridge is popping new ones each year. The Greater Boston and Cambridge area is home to over 1,000 biotech and tech companies with some prominent ones being Biogen, Akamai Technologies and HubSpot. Tech giants such as Microsoft and Apple are also located within or near Cambridge. 
Even if you're looking to work in a different sector, Cambridge's diverse community hosts businesses of all kinds, so finding a job is more accessible than ever in this city. Cambridge has that perfect mix of a quiet and cozy suburban feel and the bustling city energy. So if you want all the opportunities a big city like Boston offers but less noise, Cambridge is a great residential option. In general, the area is cheaper than the city of Boston, which means you can have all the access to Boston, given it's only a 15-minute drive away and none of the chaos of the city. While Cambridge is wonderful, living in any city has some drawbacks. The cons I have for Cambridge can easily describe any other city, really. Watch my video about Harvard Square. The link is in the description. Number one con. Cambridge is densely populated. It's home to over 116,000 residents. Essentially, there are going to be a lot of people everywhere you go. If you like your space and prefer to be in less crowded areas, Cambridge may not be for you. While it may not be New York City dense, it's still important to understand what you like. Number two, high rents and home prices. The real estate prices are high compared to most places in Massachusetts, but cheaper than Boston's. Since it is still a city, the rent prices in Cambridge will be substantially higher than living outside of the city. Although it is still cheaper than Boston, you may find yourself paying a hefty amount for standard homes in Cambridge. Depending on what you are able to afford and whether you feel the prices are justified, Cambridge may or may not be a city you would want to live in. Housing and buildings in Cambridge tend to be older than in other areas. Average sale price for a single family home in Cambridge was $2,878,000 and the average rent was $3,571 in the last few months. If you are a Cambridge resident, you get a sticker that allows you to park in residential only parking spots on the street. But if you are a guest here, there is a completely different story. Parking can be difficult to find. There are parking garages, but rates are very high, from $15 to $30 a day. Like many other cities, parking is one of the things that you will likely have to compromise on when choosing to live in Cambridge.